what would it then be like? I want to raise the discussion another level now, all right? Okay? Suppose for the moment that you now go through this sufficiently so that you see from your own experience and confirm everything that's here on the board. Right. What will that do the next time you have a thought that has an image and a form? What will this reflection do to your own mental experience? It's going to do something. Because the more you see this way, it's building understanding, isn't it? To the degree then that you're able to see it take place, it's direct understanding. You're not creating theories about it. You're not listening to Pierre. You're not reading a book become your own teacher. You, you, you want to discover something about the operations of your own mind. How many time at the moment to go into books? Well, that will have an effect on this whole thing in the following way. You can now say, you know, I wonder whether or not this attitude and style that seems to be present or this image and form I adopt, either one, either one now, whether or not that attitude and style and tonal qualities to the formations that I'm watching and my thought patterns, wonder whether or not I have ever been exposed to that attitude, style, mannerism, and tone of voice of someone. Well, hey, you know what you're into now? Nothing special. You just want to see whether you can put from your own past a face on this from your own past. Now look here, suppose it turns out by doing this that you can say, by heavens, isn't that curious? That attitude is very much like my Uncle Harry, my Aunt Mary. Now what does she, what is her drama doing in my mind? You don't have to answer it. You don't have to answer it. Oh, by the way, you might then, might you not, take a look at this drama. You're not going to criticize it. You're going to allow it to go on. And you're going to then say to yourself, is that a curious drama? What theme is operating there? Now, what I'd like to do is have a, just a gentle, you know, just a, keep it just a small little journal on the back of a napkin, right? Nothing fancy. And all I'm interested in is seeing if I can put a name on what kind of drama is going on here. Just what kind. That's all. What kind of a drama is it? Is there a recurring drama? Hey, I wonder how many dramas I have that account for most of the thought formations I go through. Huh. And then you can write, hey, this one had uh, getting caught. Oh. How often is getting caught a theme in my, in my daydreams? Oh. oh. Being a victor, overcoming disasters. Being a Joan of Arc, <clears throat> whatever. Huh. Establish the theme that recurs behind the drama. Then when you have all the, the dramas, and all you're going to do then is get the particular themes and just check them off. You're not going to do anything complicated like try to stop it, right? Yoga, <laughs> become fierce. All you're going to do is on this back of this napkin or letter, right, back of an old letter, make a note of what themes occurred. 
And how many people from your personal past have attitudes, styles, manners, and that tonal quality in their own voice that I can identify? So you're going to have a very interesting, we're going to call it the actor's file. Right? Mom, dad, whoever it might be. Right? Now when you get this, just check them off. You're not, not changing anything. You're not taking any vows of celibacy. <coughs> right? Agree not to eat meat. Right. No discipline. No, all you do is watching, right? All you want to do is just understand what's going on in your own mind. One more step now, all right? Now suppose these actors that you have identified with the particular themes you've identified in the dramas actually have a source, appears to have a common source in your past. Some event that took place that keeps coming up. But you don't remember the particular event. You get these formations of it, this transformation of it. Because, you know what, maybe we only have a small number of themes, small number of our actors' file. <clears throat> and suppose equally, well, we only have just a small, finite number of past scenes that echo, that are echoes, and echo in the various forms and account for the thought formations in our mind. Well, look here. Then that suggests just one thing. What it suggests is that there's something in your past that you haven't finished reflecting on. You haven't understood. And it keeps coming up it keeps coming up as an object for your attention because it wants to be resolved. It's the mind presenting in its image form, in a mirror form, those most vital things of your past that you have yet to understand that are important to you for your own development. If that's the case, and you can, you can check this out without any trouble, then the mind, when you're at ease, is giving you an opportunity to see what yet needs to be clarified and understood. And if it does, is it likely that you may have come to some false understanding of this past event that you really didn't understand it. If you didn't understand it, it's because you, you understand.